Hi everyone, it's James with the Fit RV. Um, someone once told me that no RV trip goes unpunished or something along those lines. And basically what he meant was that something goes wrong every time you take the RV out. And even though I've rebuilt this thing myself, sadly I found that to be true. So what's the guy to do? Um, well, ours is a Class B, it's a very small RV. So I've had to make some judicious choices as to what I keep in a traveling toolkit. And I'm going to show you what I keep in there now. Um, hopefully this will help you. I'm able to fix quite a few things on the road. Um, some things I still have to come back home and wait to fix, but let me get it out. We got two things. I've got a small tool bag and another bag of stuff. So we'll take these into the shop and show you what's in them. All right. There's actually more in there than I remembered putting in there, but let me show you what's in here. I've got things for a variety of problems, and I've actually used most of it at one time or another. So coming in here, we've got um, some electrical stuff. I've got some 12 volt wire and some uh, 20 amp 120 volt wire, a variety of wire nuts, a multimeter. That's actually a spare one I had. Um, tape, of course, duct tape. And then I've also got some of this... Uh, silicone stretch and seal tape, which I hope to never need. Every time I've had a leak so far, I've been able to fix it in another way. Um, a variety of pliers, um, linesman pliers, uh, needle nose, etc. Um, moving over here, uh, wrenches. Um, in our vehicle, the chassis is German and the interior was built in Iowa, so we need both standard and metric. Um, screwdrivers, I also made sure to get a Robertson number two because a lot of our interior was put together with that. Hammer, pry bar, um, box cutter with extra blades, wire brush, some uh, hex wrenches. This is pretty interesting. This is actually a saw. There are uh, tiny little saw blades in there. And I have actually used this out on the road and I was so disappointed when I had to, but I had to cut the bottom out of the bathroom cabinet to stop a leak that was happening, and that actually came in handy. Um, a bunch of rags, uh, some silicone. It would have to be a pretty terrible repair if I had to resort to using nails and a hammer, but I do have those. Um, and again, combination, uh, standard and metric set of uh, socket wrenches. And that's what I've got in the tool bag. Now I do have another bag that has a few other things in it. I'm gonna pack this stuff back up, and then I'll show you what's in that one. All right, not as much here as in the other one, but uh, some of this stuff does come in handy. Um, first, I have a wide variety and lengths of uh, bungee cords. We all know those always come in handy. I do have a small shovel, um, never had to use that. And I keep a survival bag in there, and that's mostly not for us because, you know, hey, we've got an RV, but if we come across somebody else, that's something we could give them. Um, a bunch of zip ties come in handy. I'm sure everyone knows. Rope, I've never had to use. And I'm probably gonna make a whole separate video on this, but uh, I can't stand rattles. And so I've got some things in here to help me deal with rattles if they crop up while I'm on the road. I've got weather stripping that's sort of sticky on one side, two different kinds of it. And then this big thing that's gotten kind of torn up, but this big thing of uh, rubber gasketing that I can try to cram in somewhere if something starts rattling and driving me nuts. And Steph can tell you that I pretty much go berserk over rattles. And normally I have some, uh, what's it called? Um, Dynamat in here as well. A little piece that I can stick on something if it starts buzzing or vibrating while we're driving. I've used all that up. I need to go buy some more actually. So that's what's in here. That's what's in the toolkit. Um, hopefully this will help you out if you're trying to decide what to keep in yours. Um, it packs up pretty small and it can uh, get you out of a jam if you need to. Thanks.